Top five intriguing portal entries on defense. I did this with offense yesterday and uh, swapped it up uh, and did defense today. Thanks to Emory Winter for his uh, very uh, powerful graphics work where he gets to use his, uh, his portal graphic that he found. Did you make this, Emory, the portal graphic, or did you find it? He found it. Okay. Well, it's still... It st- yeah. st- still makes me think a little bit of Hypno Toad. I see the two the two purple eyes like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we no, didn't see as much of him this past year. No, Hypno Toad was. He yeah, he was. <laughs> he is the retirement home, I guess, for for a season. Yeah, absolutely. Number five, Caden Willard, Miami, Ohio defensive end. Uh, this is a guy with the double digit sacks this year. One of the best players in the MAC. Uh, not sure where he could be. Headed, but uh, someone you need to look at uh, if you are looking for a defensive end. And though the defensive linemen come off the market pretty fast when they go on, I mean, it uh, maybe even faster than the quarterbacks because you know Walter Nolan took visits to two places. You know, it, it, you know those things go fast. But this is one who's uh, been out there for a couple weeks now, maybe a week and a half. Uh, Caden Willard from Miami, Ohio, had a really good season with a uh, with a good Miami, Ohio Redhawks team, uh, and. Uh, it's going to be an interesting ad for someone. Yeah, I'm not going to pretend to know too much yeah. about him. I know he was all Mac, and uh, he's already got a bump in his star ranking from uh, when he was a high school prospect, which well, I guess that's kind of cool. You, like, you sort of get re-ranked uh, for, for some of these guys. Um, but, yeah, uh, an all Mac player, as you mentioned, just being simply uh, at a position of need in college football is, is going to raise your stock quite a bit. And uh, there is no lack of interest in edge rushers. That's, that's for certain. I feel like I hear about that position more than – offensive tackle or any other except for quarterback I mean I, I think to your point but uh yeah I got a nice little bump after the career he had in Miami of Ohio I uh, don't know about all the the teams interested in him at this point but Oklahoma's uh, one of them Oklahoma okay he's one of them need to go check out Sooner Scoop and get my get my goods yeah. on the the uh, hopes there but uh yeah I mean teams need edge rushers like it's going out of style and uh, probably a good idea to jump in the portal after the year he had yeah, one of the ones that comes from the – this was a very highly rated guy at a high school, a five-star, and now uh, after a couple of years at USC and a defense that struggled um, – uh, is in the portal, uh, but a very intriguing one because he was so highly sought after coming out of high school is Corey Foreman uh, from USC. And the next two players on this list are from USC, and we'll, we can probably talk about them in groups. Let's go ahead and put up number three is linebacker Tackett Curtis from USC. Both these guys are really highly thought of. Tackett Curtis is a linebacker, Corey Foreman a defensive end, but uh, – this is going to be kind of the interesting thing of is it scheme or is it guy? Did you did you not work out at USC because it was you or because you know Alex Grinch's system was not good? Uh, and so they've already lost several defensive players in the portal. Uh, but with Tackett Curtis and Corey Foreman, I'm very curious to see where they wind up and where their careers take them because again they see they're seemingly well thought of by people still around the country after a couple of years of a bad USC defense and. Uh, but, you know, uh, we'll see where they wind up. Corey Foreman, though, was was one of the highest um, rated prospects in the country. I believe he was the number one defensive lineman coming out of California when he was uh, recruited two years ago. Yeah, well, he was recruited two years ago and played like nothing this year, yeah. uh, was hurt, and so was the non-factor totally for uh, USC. And I know that at one point Lincoln Riley was hoping that, that he would maybe see, see some time uh, before the year was up, but uh, didn't didn't uh, come to fruition and so there's a guy who like that's that's one weird thing like the re-ranking thing is cool because it's great to see the guys who are kind of under recruited or maybe weren't really highly thought of by the you know the amateur scouts and everything that they get like that proof that you can go get re-ranked and, and you get a you know a bump but I also think there's a lot of hanging on to guys because of what they were ranked two three four or five years ago and so at some point yeah there was some talent that was obviously there that people saw and you don't end up at USC by mistake um so yeah a couple of guys who I think have uh, a lot of the this airs on the side of potential yeah uh, is what you're looking at here and, and hopes that uh, you can squeeze out all the potential that uh, that you can especially with Corey Foreman there yeah now we're going to get to a couple of defensive backs one that's performed very well another one that again is going to be uh on potential uh Aiden White from NC State. Uh, he is in the portal. Um, a junior uh, 
cornerback and a guy who this year had, I want to say he had five, four or five interceptions. He has some production on the field uh, for uh, for NC State and a, a very good defense. And obviously, moving on, NC State's done a lot of interesting things uh, in the portal, but are losing one of their better defenders. And he is the second best defensive back available now, according to On Three. But someone I think is going to garner a lot of interest because he's got production uh, behind him and someone who has played kind of like uh, Caden Willard, our, our number five guy. Uh, he, this is not really based on potential, it's based on potential and maybe a different system uh, with some different players around him, but he is someone who has produced. Yeah, he had a really nice 2023 at a pick six against Texas Tech. Uh, also had, you know, close to 40 tackles, had a couple of picks, uh, a lot of pass deflections, um, had a sack in there as well, had a bunch of picks uh, the year prior, uh, for the year prior. So, yeah, he's a guy that's that's produced, unlike some other names on here where, like you said, you're going for more of the potential that you can squeeze out of them. But, uh, yeah, Aiden White's a, a solid player. It's hard to, to kind of – I have to like go and look of like okay you're the number two corner now in the portal after 17 guys have gone and gone elsewhere but I don't think that's the case with him I'd be curious to see like the overall I would need to go and look at that because I haven't looked at that but uh, yeah a very uh, productive player coming off of a a good run there with the Wolf Pack and uh, they, they were a fun team to watch so. Uh, yeah, always, always can use some defensive backs. Yeah, and number one uh, defensive back, uh, A.J. Harris, three solo tackles this year, but was one of the most highly sought-after players in the – in high school last year. So he's one of those guys that played his true freshman season in Georgia. He's going to go try to cash in somewhere else, but a very intriguing uh, talent uh, because he was so highly rated. And, and look, he wasn't going to play uh, in that deep defense really that much this year anyway, because he's a true freshman. And to be a true freshman and play in Georgia's defense, you have to be super, super stud. Uh, and he's just a guy who has a lot of potential. Now, this is another one, but A.J. Harris from Georgia, highly sought after last year uh, and now back in the portal again i guess he just likes being recruited oh yeah maybe i yeah. who who, know, who the heck knows yeah. um but uh yeah i mean he's obviously got some talent uh, he wouldn't end up at georgia if he didn't and uh, as far as you know the market for him i, I don't even know i yeah. have to kind of it's reset been, my he's brain he's only been in the portal for like two days so. no i just mean in general i got no he's been a little while never mind you gotta yeah. reset my brain when it comes to the re-ranking and where guys have fallen and who's still out there and available but uh yeah i mean he seems like an intriguing prospect so i'm sure that uh he's he's getting hit up and yeah, it'll be interesting to see where he lands. All right, that is the top five. Thanks to Cedric Golden, Jason Shear, and Scott Drew. Thanks to Craig, to Garrett, to Jack, and to Emery. We're back again tomorrow.